guys. Hi guys. Uh, we're coming at you today uh, with a lash tutorial. It was a highly requested um, video on our Facebook pages. So we're going to be doing that today. And I, I would like to just to let you guys know that I am still practicing lashes. So um, it's probably going to be heavily edited out how much I mess up, but I'm <laughs> going to show you as well as I can. Um, so I'll be talking about, um, we're, we just got some lashes from Target. I will be doing a full lash, full strip, and then I will also be doing the technique where you cut it in half and do it piece by piece, which some people prefer to do just because you don't really mess up as much. So let's uh, let's show them the tools that we're going to be using today. Talk oh, about I, what you're going to be doing. Yeah, we'll cut, just edit this part out. Um, I'm actually going to be doing um, teaching you how to trim your lashes properly because there is an actual proper way to trim your lashes to measure them on your eye and to trim. Um, and I'm going to be doing. People are really scared of these, so I'm going to introduce you to individuals. Um, She's going to be doing on her undies. I call them undies because they go under the eye. You can use these on your top lash. However, it takes a whole lot of them to make um, any major impact. You kind of want to stick to the strip lashes um, when you're dealing with the upper eye, but the lower eye still can use a little bit of love too. And individuals is where I would put, what I would put underneath my eyes. Undies. Undies. Hopefully it catches on. So we're gonna talk about the things that you're gonna need before you start doing your lashes. And the first thing is, Tweezers. tweezers. Um, these are actually optional too. Um, sometimes I just use my fingers, but um, I have the slanted, I don't know if you can see them, oh, the slanted, um, they're flat. Um, my problem with these is that glue gets on them, so I usually don't use these, but I'm going to show you how they would work anyway. I use these pretty heavy for individuals just because it is easier than our next tool, which is also an optional tool. This is from Sephora. It looks like this. And it grabs the lashes, the full strip of lashes here, and you can use this little paddle end to kind of press them onto your eye. And I like this because it's really soft, and also the glue doesn't stick to the front end of it, um, unlike the tweezers. So when I'm using a tool, I like this tool. Yep. Um, and you can use really any tool that you find. Like this one came out of an Ardell package. Like anything it's the same that thing. you're comfortable with is going to be the best for you. This is just what we we do. Another optional tool is eyelash curler. Eyelash curler. And we'll show you how that comes in handy later on. You're going to need lash glue. Lash glue. So um, the lash glues that we're going to be using today are the Velour Lash Glue. This is rose scented and black in color. This stuff is amazing. It smells so good. If you've ever smelled Duo, um, you know that it smells a little bit like vagina, but oh. this glue, I could huff it all day long. <laughs> uh, the best part about it is it is black, and I wear black eyeliner, so whenever I mess up a lash and I have to take it off and start over again, I'm usually messing up my eyeliner, um, but since this is black, it really helps even if you mess up. Um, the only downside to that is it you got to work with it fast because it could get everywhere. Um, the other one that we're going to be using is this Duo. This is a brush on um, by Duo. I think it's like five or six bucks. It has a little, little brush with it, just like the Velour does. Mm -hmm. um, this is clear. Well, it's white, but it dries clear. So I'm going to be teaching you how to use both of those. Uh, really, any lash glue that you're comfortable with, though I would say please stay away from these kinds of tubes if you're a beginner because it gets really messy and it'll dry before you're even like onto the next eye. And especially me being a beginner, I would suggest any kind of brush on like these um, because it's really easy when you're using the tube that Michelle just showed you to use too much. Yeah. And you don't need a lot. And then finally, we're going to be using mascara. mascara. Uh, use whatever mascara you want, whatever mascara you like. I'm using, it's a Sephora brand product and it's one of their new ones. It's called Lashcraft. And I use Benefit Roller Lash, hello. I love this stuff. Um, it's kind of pricey. It's about $20 per tube, but I I love it, and it's totally worth every penny I paid. And this one's only about $12 or $14 from Sephora. Um, again, I've, I've just started wearing it, and I absolutely love it. I we absolutely just love found it. it the other day. It's awesome. And the last thing you need is lashes. Lashes are key. 
yeah, lashes are key since you're putting them on. Right. You might also want to keep a pair of scissors handy, especially if you're going to be trimming your lashes. If your eyes are, you know, a little bit smaller or you just want to trim them down a bit, uh, you're going to need all these things. So stick around. Um, Andy's going to be up first putting on her lashes and uh, we'll see what kind of magic we can make. All right. So I'm going to be starting with um, obviously take these out of the package. I chopped it open because I didn't know they just popped right out, but they do. Um, I'll be starting with a full strip lash. It is, with the packaging, you have to kind of look, sometimes the packaging is wrong. I've, I've had packages tell me the right eye was the right eye when it really wasn't. So make sure that your longer portions are gonna be on the outside of your eye, whichever eye you're gonna be working on. Um, I'm gonna be using tweezers for the first part just to show you how it works and how kind of difficult it is, but I'm going to try very hard. Um, the first thing I do is before I even put any glue on, I just place it on my eye to see if it's too long and if it's too long, I trim it. So I just fit it right here and it doesn't look like I'm gonna to need to trim it, so I'm not gonna trim it, I'm gonna leave all of that to Michelle later. So um, I grip the lashes kind of close, I'm not sure, oh, okay. Grip the lashes kind of close to the line where you're gonna put the glue, um, only because it's easier to place that way. Uh, take your lash glue, whichever one you are more comfortable with, um, smell it if you're using velour. Uh, latex. It is latex, so you're going to need to let it get a little tacky or it's not going to stick to your eye. Um, I have my mirror from Ikea here. Um, normally what I do is I tilt the mirror back so I'm kind of looking down on my eye so I know where the end is. So I look down and I place on the outside. I make sure to get my outer corner first and then work my way in. So the outer corner is on, and the rest of it's kind of just flopping. So go in and stick the rest of it. I'm not used to using tweezers, so bear with me here. And you wanna make sure the middle, oh, the camera. You wanna make sure the middle is also put down because there is no way that you can fix a lash that's gonna come off. Just trust me on this one. So you wanna make sure that the middle part is down as well. And ta-da, lash is on. It looks beautiful. And I am going to put the other one on while Michelle shows you the proper way to trim. Hey guys, all right, I'm gonna show you how to trim your lashes. So um, as you can see, I've already got my tool and I've already got my lash on there, just like that. Um, how to measure is you actually just take it, once you take it right off the package, just take it and kind of set it right on your eye. So you're just gonna be setting it on top I already have falsies on, so it's really hard to see right now. Um, and I don't actually need to trim these. But if I was going to have to trim them for my eye, what I'd do is just kind of determine how much needs to be taken off. You don't want the lash to come too far in to your corner or it'll irritate your eye. You don't want to come too far out um, on this side of your eye because then it'll look like you don't have lashes on that side. You look a little strange like an alien. So uh, what you're gonna be doing is instead of cutting from the inside corner, you're actually gonna be cutting from the outside corner. The reason for that is if you cut from the inside corner, all this beautiful stuff that they have going on with the inside corner lashes that are nicely trimmed down and they're perfect for your eye, those are all gonna go away if you try and trim from there. So what I do is I just come from here, just determine how much do I need to take off, take my pair of scissors and come in and I try and cut in between the sets of lashes because you can normally see like where the sets of lashes are glued in. Once you cut a little piece off, go back in, set it on your eye 
and see if any more needs to be trimmed off. Doesn't look like it, things look good here. Um, if you wanted to cut them even further, that's fine. What I have on right now is a pair of little halfsies. They only come from my outer corner to right here. You are more than welcome to do that. You can make them on your own. You can buy them from Sephora. If you're gonna be doing something like that and you only want them to go on your outer corner, you're just gonna wanna set these on where you want it. So right there. And that's about how much I need to take off. Do you see all of that there that needs to come off? If I'm gonna create my own half lashes, that much has to, oh, I just missed it. It's still on. It's still there. <laughs> all right, that did not wanna go away. I would have to cut off much, much more. So I'm just gonna come in here and cut that much off there. And now I've got myself this cute little pair, or this cute little, baby lash, it's only about that long, and just goes right on the outside corner of your eye, right there, and it makes a huge difference on your eye, even just that little bit. But remember, always turn from the outside corner, never the inside corner. So now I'm going to show you how to apply um, by cutting them in half, and this, I never really heard of this until I saw Nikki Tutorial's video on um, cut how she does her lashes so she cuts them in half and puts them on piece by piece that's probably the easiest way to do it if you're a beginner um, I'm still a beginner so I'm not trying to you know tell you I'm an expert or anything like that um, so you have I'm going to be using my Sephora tool for this one instead of tweezers I already have my lashes on my tool um, so basically what I'm gonna do is hold it from one side and try to get as close to the middle as possible. So try to get as close to the middle as you can and then cut right down the middle. So I'm gonna take the scissors and going to cut right in the middle. Of course, make sure you don't drop them. And you wanna make sure that they are on the correct side. So these ones on this side are gonna be going on the inside of my lash. And so since we wanna start on the outer corner, we're gonna take the other side. And even before you do anything, you always wanna place them on your eye just kind of as practice because I, again, I'm still learning my way around the lash game. So place them on your eye, make sure that it is where you want it to go. And then use your glue, of course, any glue that you like will do. Um, and again, don't put a lot of glue on. It's, you gotta make sure that you're not overloading it with glue. A very light dusting of glue, if you will. So I usually wave mine around to dry it a little bit, blow on it a little bit if you need to. Place it on the outer corner of your eye. And again, I like to look down when I'm doing this just so I get a good feel for where it is. And this tool's really great because it's curved, so it goes with your lash. I like to place my lash on normally with my fingers because it's easier for me that way. Oh, look at that. My, my lashes are gonna be up there, so I'm gonna do that because it's just easier for me. Just place it on the outside corner with your finger. Go in with your tool and push it onto your lash line. And as Michelle was talking about, um, as you can see, I have it on the outer corner of my eye and it looks wonderful. Um, if you wanna know what those lashes are, um, they're these lashes right here, the ones Michelle is currently wearing. Um, these are called the Flutter Lashes from Sephora. They're very easy. They come already in a half size. So I love wearing them just because you only have to worry about half of your eye. But since I'm gonna show you the whole eye, cutting it, I will go in and do the other part. Um, the only part I don't like about cutting lashes is you have to really make sure that you are getting it precise and you're not like making it look different. It has to look cohesive. So if you're worried about making it look funny, just put the whole strip on. You can always take it off and try again, um, especially if you have this black lash glue, like it's amazing. So I'm gonna try to get this as close as humanly possible with my long nails, which I'm not used to. And then go in with your tool 
That's the other reason I really like this tool is that it's a two-sided tool. So you can go in with the part that has the curves like this, or you can go in with the opposite part and use this to push down your lashes. So I'm going to use that part right now. And you just push onto as close as humanly possible to your lash line without making yourself cry. Because if you have sensitive eyes, you probably don't want to wear lashes. And there we go. They're on. Hey guys. Okay, so I'm going to be showing you how to do undies. What I call undies. They're just um, lashes that go underneath here. You're going to want to use your individuals. And for this, I prefer to use tweezers. So can't really see because they're very very small I already have one um, there's like four or five little eyelash hairs in there and what I'm gonna do first is um, just I pulled it off of the package and I'm just gonna set it underneath my eye and see how much I need to trim off so you want to go as close to the lash line your underneath lash line as possible I'm just gonna stick it on there and as you can see it's really really long no problem so I'm gonna take it off grip it by the base and I'm just going to be trimming a little bit off. It's kind of just like giving your lashes a haircut. You're not trimming much off. You still want it to look kind of natural but just more filled in. And this is really good for people who have really short under eyelashes. Maybe you just want to fill it out a little bit more. Um, Sorry about that. I'm gonna have to slice this. Go in, trim. And what you're gonna do is, again, go back in, put it back on your lash line, see if you've trimmed enough. Oh, that looks good right there. That looks really good. So um, with these individuals, it is really hard to figure out if you're using too much glue or not. Um, just like Andy said, use a really, really light hand with your glue. So I'm just gonna come in with my glue now and I'm gonna put a tiny, tiny little bit on the end of my lash. I actually prefer to use the Clear Duo um, on my bottom, but I'm gonna use the black today just for fun. Make sure you let it dry just a little bit, get it tacky tacky. All right, now I'm gonna go in. Get it as close as I possibly can. And just tap it in. You can use your finger to tap it in. So to tap it into place. pretty good. So just repeat this process uh, over and over. I'm going to try and put a couple more on for you. So as you can see, it starts to make a real difference. I put three on right here. I would never use these for a daily look, like for a natural look, but if you really want to glam it up, you really want to make your eyes pop and look intense, um, you can use something like this on the underneath. And what you're going to want to do after you get these on, I would uh, you can do liner beforehand or you can do liner after. Uh, you just want to go in with some kind of a black liner and just line as close as you possibly can to it. You might even want to go into your waterline um, and kind of use the black and cover, you know, the the base of the lash where you can kind of see them a little bit. Um, if you do this beforehand, it'll just smudge it out real nice so that the lines kind of don't look all spotty. So that's it. That's how you put individuals on. So if you were wondering why we told you you might need mascara, that you will need mascara, um, we do things differently, obviously. Um, I like to do mascara before. My lashes already had mascara on them, which is why I didn't show you that part, because I was wearing 
lashes earlier and I took them off so I could put these ones on. Um, but I do mascara first and I curl my lashes before I put lashes on. So, and I'm a little bit different. I actually do mascara afterwards. What I do is I go in, um, once I have my lashes applied, I take my tool, I go very carefully over the top of both, and I use the curler to kind of push them both together. So they kind of mesh a little bit. That's when I go in and use my mascara. And I like to do mine before only because um, usually I've got powder because I, I have to bake with my concealer and I've got light powder, light foundation, all over my lashes so I like them to be black and match the lashes before I put the lashes on and then I can see what it looks like in real time um, other things I use while I do lashes um, also is I have my liner with me um, I use the Kat Von D right now I'm using the ink liner although I do love the um, tattoo liner in Trooper I just ran out of it and this was the only thing Sephora had left so this is a really good um, alternative to the other and then the other thing I use is uh, concealer and I just got this concealer to the Too Faced Born This Way concealer amazing I could do without the coconutty smell um, but if you follow us on Instagram I was doing a look the other day and I was posting pictures of the new products I was using and this makes me look like plastic fantastic I love it so much so I use the concealer if I have to redo my wing and a brush um, just to sharpen the wings up because with as much as I mess up I constantly have to redo my liner when I'm done with my lashes I've got it pretty much down to a science I don't even need concealer anymore and a br I know I know hate me my hate me it's Michelle fine and I'm good at everything I, I I'm sorry, I just, I got, naturally I was just very good at lashes. I don't know why, I don't know why. It just happened to be that way. So um, we're just gonna go in now, apply a little bit of, well, she applied mascara before. I'm gonna go in and apply a little bit of mascara now. And while she's doing that, um, I'm gonna let you know, we have a Twitter now. We have a Twitter, we have Instagram. Um, on Instagram, we are Beautiful Besties channel, um, all one word, and then on Twitter, we are Beautiful Bests, the B's are capitalized. So we will link that down below for you if you would like to follow us there as well. We're also gonna go ahead and post a link to some of our favorite lash brands. Um, one of my favorites is, of course, the Sephora brand. They have just paired with House of Lashes. Oh, they're beautiful. They're absolutely gorgeous lashes, and they're really, really affordable. I think they're like $10, $15. Uh, no lashes there at Sephora go above $17. I've never seen them go above $17. There, there might be a couple brands that are featured in there that do go over right. $17. But the Sephora brand, they're with the house affordable. of lashes, very affordable lashes. Um, also, we are actually fans of these cheap lashes that we use today. Uh, this four pack was eleven ninety nine at Target. It's from a company called Ardell. Um, they are not reusable, so pretty much one use and they're done. The reason I love these is that they're they're affordable, number one, and, but they're good for an everyday look. If you're not trying to go super glam, yeah. or if you're just beginning and you kind of want to test them out a little bit, um, one pair of these lashes is $3.99 so and then they come in a pack two where you could get two pairs of lashes and a tool for $5.99 so they're really affordable they're good for a, an everyday look the only problem is we've tried to wash them and they do not wash well they don't I had to say goodbye to a favorite pair of lashes and it was RIP and I cried it was terrible it was a sad day all right, so we hope that we answered some of your questions today about how to put on um, false lashes and we'll be coming back at you soon with a couple of challenges. We've got our Wet n Wild challenge. It's being shipped right now. And we are perfecting our looks for our Pokemon Go Team Mystic versus Team Valor challenge. I'm super excited about it. I've been collecting so much blue makeup and it's it's gonna be ridiculous. I've got red for days. Yes. So it's gonna be very interesting and we're gonna let you vote and see which look is the best. It's going to be Team Mystic. It's going to be Team Valor. Whatever. Thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Uh, if you haven't, subscribe right down below. Give subscribe us a thumbs up. Thumbs up. And uh, thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.